Welcome back to Canvas in five minutes, bitch. All fucking right. Welcome back to Canvas in five minutes, my series about how to do cool shit with Canvas, Canvas learning. Um, as always, slap that fucking subscribe button. Today, we have another... Uh, Twitter request. Um, I forget who requested it, uh, but people wanted to see audio visualizations. Um, so I wanted to run through how exactly to do that uh, with Canvas, which is a phenomenal candidate to do it. So uh, today we're going to run through um, how to use the web audio API and Canvas to make um, what looks like one of like those um, Instagram like beat video fucking things. Like if you've ever seen people like selling beats on Instagram, they have like this little like circle fucker visualization thing that uh, goes and you know, I don't have that. So I just take like this like lo-fi black and white video of me playing a keyboard. But you know, if, if I had after effects and shit like that, you know, that's probably what I would do to make it look professional. Then maybe I'd sell some beats and maybe I could leave tech, but you know, good for you guys. That's not the fucking case. So, Let's take a look. Um, as always, right? We have our canvas and we have our context here. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna let some freaks. You know what I'm talking about? And what those are? They're frequencies. Because um, we're visualizing frequencies today. Um, let's get into the web audio minutia. Here we have navigator, media devices, enumerate devices. So what this does is this gives you the available devices. And if we look through, we have all these different devices that we can possibly tap into for our input stream. All right, um, I use a thing called loopback right here. And what this does is this lets me combine multiple audio sources into a stream. Um, it's pretty sick. Doing something like what I'm doing here today is a fucking pain in the ass if you don't have this. Um, so we come through and we pick, right? So I have loopback audio three, which has a microphone and you know the output of Ableton. <clears throat> So we're gonna say 17 when we do our get user media. Get user media returns a stream, right? So this is a stream of audio data. Uh, we're gonna create an audio context as you do. Um, and then uh, the web audio API provides you a thing called an analyzer, right? So what this does uh, is this thing will uh, fill up a UN8 array with uh, frequency data, right? Um, so we have this source, right? We create our media stream source from our stream. We connect the source to the analyzer. Then we connect the analyzer to the destination. Now, normally this would be playing, you know, you'd be able to hear this. However, I've muted the tab because you know, you're already hearing me through screen flow. So it would just double up. Um, but this connection is, you know, it's like a node based connection here that you go from thing to thing and I'm going to jewel on air. All right, so we have this thing called a draw function here. Uh, we say that our, our frequencies are this uh, uint8 array, uh, size of which is the analyzer frequency bin count. Um, and then we're gonna draw a circle, right? So we start with a radius and the number of bars that we wanna draw. So I fill in the background, I fill it in black, right? Um, and then we draw a circle right to do our things around so right we we're centered that's our x y is centered we have our radius like previously we've done this arc and then uh our start and end angle uh and then we then we stroke it that's right um and then we call analyzer get byte frequency data right here so now this gives us data to work with so what i want to do is i wanted to draw a label um and it's going to say space force and that's the name of my record label. Um, if you look at my releases on Spotify or Apple Music, it's you know, 2019 Space Force Records. Um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, uh, go between like pink and yellow, and then um, based upon uh, how loud a given frequency is, right? It'll it'll go between those. Um, also in height. So here for the label, right, that doesn't really apply. So what I do is I average the entire frequency spectrum. Um, not in, I mean, for 255 buckets of the frequencies here, uh, I go through and get that average and then apply that negatively and positively to your, uh, G and B respectively. 
Um, down here, right, we go to draw our actual bars, right? And these are just radians here, right? So this is like how they're going to go around the circle. Um, so we get our X and our Y, right? We're, we're doing sine and cosine, which kind of gives us our fucking circulometry. I don't know the fucking word. Uh, but here it's a little bit different, right? Because what we're doing um, is uh, we are, uh, first of all, our height, right? Um, we have, we have uh, if we go back up, we have 100 bars, right? But we come down here and the bar height, right, is the, the frequency bucket index uh, halved, right? So it's in half. Um, then down here for the color, right, we're doing that same kind of like negative positive deal um, with the green and the blue, uh, but we're doing that um, uh, based upon the frequency index, right? Uh, so the louder it is, I guess the the pinker it gets. Um, and then we just go through and we begin our path, move to X and Y and do line two and stroke. If you want to see what this looks like, boom, check this out. So you can see our text right here is getting averaged. So the louder I am in general, the pinker this shit gets, the quieter I am, the fucking yellower that shit stays. Um, you know, it's going to go from here to here, uh, from low end to high end. So if I do like a plane crashing, like, you see how you can see like the, the growing at like, you know, like it'll go like that. Um, yeah, let's hear what some fun, fun stuff sounds like with it going. Now we have a visualizer. We're having so much fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, hold on. Gotta do that auto tune. So we sound cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's enough of that for today. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. I'm going to put this Code Sandbox link in the description. As always, thanks for coming to Canvas in five minutes. We might have gone over five minutes. I don't give a fuck. See that subscribe button? Fucking slap that shit. Bye.